Hey guys, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so, so much for subscribing. And if you're looking, please subscribe, hit the bell so you'll know every time I upload a video. Today I come to you with my morning slash skincare routine. I feel like that's a step that's been neglected and just totally skipped over. So I want to go more in depth with that. Also, everything I speak about will always be listed in the description box down below. So be sure to check that out. And you can also follow me on all my social media, Shades of Chels and Chels Makeup Edition. If you want to see what it is I do for my skincare routine. Okay, so let's jump right into it but before i do let me say the lighting because i i recorded some of the stuff in my bathroom to actually show you the things in action the lighting will be slightly different so please excuse me for that and if you hear any noises i live very close to a highway so i have no control over it for now so although this is a morning skincare routine um for me it starts at night i prep my skin at night for the morning the last thing i do at night is use my rose hip oil all over my face this press my skin in the morning time now there's a misconception that if you're oily or combination oily because i do have combination skin that you skip moisturizer that is such a misconception regardless to what skin type you have you're always supposed to moisturize your skin so i like using this oil at night it really helps me to produce less oil in my t-zone the next day and of course my lips as well never skip your lips your lips is part of your skin i like to use gentle cleansers i prefer my skin is slightly sensitive but i'm getting older and i do not want to use a cleanser that's going to totally make my skin feel very dry i've had that experience in the past i like using a cleanser that's going to make my face feel cleansed and refreshed but at the same time still maintain whatever moisture that i have and for that currently i'm using this purity face wash i like it because it's like i said it's very gentle it really gets rid of the dirt and the oil and the makeup and whatever it is but it leaves my skin feeling moisture after that i like exfoliating my face and i like using this kiko powder different brands make different ones this is the one that i'm using at the moment it's a powder and it's safe enough to use daily you have other types of exfoliators these i use twice a week or once a week but this one is a powder you activate it with a little bit of water and you massage it all over your face i like doing this in the morning time because it preps my face for the makeup you're supposed to be exfoliating your face causes better cell turnover it removes any flaking any buildup, anything it helps to reduce the size of your pores it helps your makeup to go over top it's very smooth because it really cleanses your skin and exfoliates makes everything just removes that first layer of dead cells and dead skin to give you a good base so when you go over top of your makeup nothing sticks especially if you have dry skin and in the cooler months although i have combination skin my skin does get drier so my face in the morning time before i go in on with makeup on days when i do wear makeup after this i like using a toner currently i'm using the Olay or Ola Hendrickson um, Balancing Force Oil Control Toner. Toners, I feel like it's been totally underrated in skin in most people's skincare routine. I am guilty of it as well, but I started to use this regularly in my routine a couple months ago, and I realized it really does balance my skin during the day, especially for the makeup wearers and makeup lovers out there. Do not underestimate the importance of a toner in your skin. I have seen the results. Always incorporate a toner in your skin. You use one that is suited for your skin type and your skin needs. So do not skip using a toner in your skincare regimen. Next, I go in with my Olay Total Effect 7-in-1 Eye Cream. This is the one I'm using at the moment. Another thing that's very, very important. Underneath your eyes is the only part of your face that does not perspire. So almost everyone has dry on their eyes. And if you're already, if you already have dry skin, then underneath your eyes is going to be extremely dry. So I like using eye creams, especially those that says hydrating and brightening and to help with any fine lines and wrinkles and things like that. As you get older, the things that you develop underneath your eyes, do not skip on using your eye cream it is very important to keep underneath your eyes moisturized 
this will also help everything to stay in place when you go in with your makeup then finally i go in with my neutrogena hydro boost water gel with spf spf is very important in your skincare burns my eyes my eyes are very sensitive so i am also guilty of skipping on spf as a result i do have hyperpigmentation marks on the corners of my eyes from the sun I mean, eventually I probably would do something about it, but my skincare routine keeps it at bay. So I like using this at the moment and I like using um, moisturizers that says water gel and stuff like that because it's very light. It's going to absorb quickly into your skin, which is what you need for underneath your makeup. Something that it dissolves and soaks into your skin very quick. So I like using those that says water gel because it's light. It's going to give me the moisture that I need and it's going to keep me moisturized during the day. And this one specifically has hyaluronic acid. And what it does is it keeps your skin plumped. It's like it attracts moisture from the air to always keep your, keep your skin plumped throughout the day and underneath your makeup, which is what I need. I need my skin to feel hydrated, especially when the, in, in this cooler months that we are experiencing. So moisturizing your skin is extremely important. It's as if you're telling your skin... My skin has enough moisture for the day, so I will not overproduce oils, if that makes sense. Do not skip on your moisturizer. Do not skip on your moisturizer. I cannot emphasize that enough. When you do not moisturize your skin, if you already suffer with very oily skin, extremely oily skin, or just like me, combination skin, your skin is going to produce, overproduce oils in those areas when you do not moisturize it. It's like it's overcompensating for the fact that it's not moisturized. Keep your skin moisturized and it will keep your oils at bay. Trust and believe. And I love using incorporating oils in my skincare routine because it does just that for me the next day. It keeps my skin moisturized and plumped and soft and smooth like a baby's butt in the morning. So I, there are different types of oils. I'm just using this one. There are different types I use as well. Do your research. Oils are very important and some oils can replace your moisturizer as well. So do your research on your oils. There are different oils for different skin issues that you can incorporate in your routine that would help those issues in the long run. So the internet is there. Dr. Google, use it. It is well, is it free? I don't know. <laughs> I am not a licensed esthetician or anything like that. These are things that I use that works well for my skin. And I do rotate my products. I do have other products that I use, but I don't want to confuse anybody. This is what I'm using at the moment. So this is what I'm going to talk about. But there are other brands that make products just like these. You have to go out and try, sample, see what works for you. It's, it's all about trial and error when it comes to skincare, especially because skincare is something that takes a while to work. Also, bear in mind your skin type when you are reaching for products. Like I said, I have combination skin and beware of your skin needs. I want my skin to be hydrated. I want my skin to be luminous. I want my skin to be even and smooth. So I look for products that would do that for me. And I experiment a lot of different products. And that is why I'm at a point where I know what it is I like for my skincare routine. So disclaimer, these are what I like. These are my opinion. You do your research on these. So after I would have done my skincare routine, you allow your skin at least 10 15 to 20 minutes at the most so that your products can sip into your skin and absorb. You do not want to go on with the makeup right away because your makeup will slip and slide. So you want to give your skin at least 10, 15, 20 minutes to absorb all the products and then you go in with your makeup. And my next step would be my primer. Primers, I feel like, are also something that's up to your preference. Some people don't believe in primers. I totally believe in primers because I do see... A difference with the way my makeup applies and the way my makeup lasts throughout the day when I apply a primer. I prefer to use smoothing primers. Now in the cooler months, I go for hydrating primers. It's like I do strategic priming on my face. I prime the sides of my face with a hydrating primer underneath my eyes and I do the rest with a smoothing or sometimes a mattifying primer to keep the oils at bay and that's basically my nose and my chin you use what primer is best for your skin type my opinion i would never skip on using a primer because i do see a difference with the way my makeup applies when i apply a primer it's a must it's a must in my makeup routine it's a must for me to prep my skin 
before I go in with my foundation. And after I would have done all of that, I just go in with my foundation and I do my foundation routine as usual. If you want to see how I do my foundation for a natural beat like what I'm wearing, I do have a tutorial on that. It's my natural makeup tutorial. You can check that out. And while you're at it, check out the rest as well. Like, why not? <laughs> like and comment so as again, well. These are all things that I have used and that works well for me, for my skin type, for my skin needs. Please do your research, see what works best for you. I'm not here saying go and do this or use that. You have to find what works best for you. But what I do know is you need to have some sort of skincare regimen in place for your skin. Because your makeup would only look as good as what's underneath and that is your skin. Put up um, a, a map of um, steps to how it is you layer your products on your face so that you get the best results and that each product you place on your face um, will do what it is meant to do. I will put that up right now. So be sure you have that in place and work on your skin and then you'll have the best makeup application. Your skincare, as a matter of fact, starts from within. Your diet, the way you eat, the things you consume and I just feel like drinking loads of water is gonna help your skin to look plump. It shows on the outside. I love to drink water, drink water, eat as healthy as you can. That is one thing I know for sure. You can quote me on that. Everything from inside shows on the outside. So be sure you are doing, taking care of your health as well when it comes to So I hope this video was informative for you, to you, that you will go out and at least make you think to incorporate things into your skincare regimen, care of your skin. That is it. There's just no excuses. You have to take care of your skin. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, everything will be in the description box down below. So see you soon in my next tutorial. In my next video. Oh.